Hey everybody, it's Becky and I am back today with a video that is going to be very exciting for me to make because it's about Christmas movies and I love Christmas. It's my, except for the weather, it's one of my favorite times of year. Um, I could do without winter weather. I mean, it's, I hate winter weather, but if, if winter would end right after Christmas, that would be perfect. But anyway, this video is my favorite Christmas movie. Some of these are kind of old classics. Some of them are newer things that you might not have seen. And um, I'm going to assume that if you haven't seen it, I'll give you a kind of like a brief idea of what it's about. So the first one is The Bishop's Wife. It was an old movie. I think it was made in the 30s or 40s. It's black and white and it's Cary Grant and I cannot think of her name, Loretta Young. And uh, oh, David Niven too. And it's really a really cute movie. David Niven plays a bishop and, his, and Loretta Young's character is his wife. And he's supposed to be really stressed out because he's in the process of having a new cathedral built. And so he prays for God to help him. Well, all of a sudden, Cary Grant shows up, and he says that he's an angel, and he was who God sent to help David Niven's character. And basically, though, all that ends up happening is David Niven gets frustrated with him and and doesn't starts to doubt whether or not he's really an angel. And so, you know, Cary Grant's character, it's just really cute how they twist it at the end. And I think the main message of this movie is it's really... Um, it's really cozy and a really fun movie. And I think the main message of this movie is, you know, David Niven prayed for God to help him and God sent Cary Grant's character, but David Niven was frustrated because it wasn't the help that he thought he was praying for. And that happens to us a lot of times. I mean, this is not like an overtly religious movie, but it's just a really neat message of how many times do we pray for something and we maybe get an answer, but it's not the answer that we wanted. And we think, well, that must not be the answer because that's not what I asked for. But of course, God's not going to give you just what you ask for. He's going to give you what you need. So it's just a really neat movie, and I love it at the end especially. So if you haven't seen that, you definitely should. I haven't seen it come on TV this year, but it usually comes on AMC if you get that channel. Um, I know you can also purchase the DVD at Amazon for like $9.75, I think it was. So it's definitely worth purchasing because I think it's a family favorite, and it's good for everybody to watch, and it's something you're probably going to watch every year. The next movie is The Holiday with Cameron Diaz, Jack Black, Jude Law, and Kate Winslet. And it's really a really cute movie, kind of like a love triangle kind of a thing. And Kate Winslet and Jude Law play brother and sister. And I don't want to tell you too much about it and give it away, but it's just a really cute movie. It's funny. Even though it's called The Holiday, it is centered around Christmas, but it's not typically a, a Christmas movie. So it's not something that you would feel like you couldn't watch it any time during the year. But we watched it last night again. It's really cute. And it basically goes through the four couples and kind of shows their relationships with each other and other people. It's just a romantic comedy. I like that one a lot. So you should definitely check that one out. The next one, of course, is Elf. I mean, who could not love Elf with uh, Will Ferrell? Um, it's pretty much the only movie he's in that I actually like. I don't typically like his sense of humor, but since he's playing an elf, his humor is toned down drastically. And if you haven't seen it, it's a man that, he's a human, but he was raised in the North Pole, and so he thinks that he's an elf. So he ends up having to go to New York, and he realizes that possibly he's not an elf, and um, all the different things that are funny that happen to him. So you definitely should check that one out. Jingle All the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, Phil Hartman is really funny, and Sinbad's in that too. And it's basically, he's supposed to get this really one hot toy for his kid for Christmas, and at the last minute he realizes he did not get it, but it's like the toy of the year, and so he has to go through all these crazy things to try to get this toy for his son, and it's really funny. So you should definitely check that one out too. White Christmas is, of course, a classic. Bing Crosby, Vera Ellen, Danny Kaye, and Rosemary Clooney which um, is just a musical. It's Irving Berlin. It's beautiful colors. Um, it's just a really good movie. And if you like musicals, then you should definitely check that one out. 12 Dates of Christmas is a newer movie. I think it's still a couple years old. It is Mark Paul Gossler, which was Zach from Saved by the Bell, if you know who that is, and Amy Smart. And it's basically the, the typical 12 Days of Christmas movie. You know, you've seen over and over with the different scenarios of the 12 Christmas Day repeating itself 12 times over. Only this time it's 12 dates of Christmas. So she's a single girl and her boyfriend has moved on with somebody else and so she's trying to get him back in the process of also dating uh, Mark Paul Gossler's character. And so 12 times over she has to keep redoing this date and redoing it and redoing it until this certain thing happens. And it's really funny and cute and I like it really well. And it comes on every year. Um, I think on 
Oh, it's Hallmark Channel. I'm not really sure. No, it's not Hallmark. It comes on every year on TV. And last time I checked, it was also on Netflix. So if you have Netflix, check it out there. And then uh, Miracle on 34th Street, the old version with um, Rain O'Hara is a really good one. It's black and white. Just the typical story. The, the old man says that he's Santa Claus and the state wants to commit him because, of course, there is no Santa Claus. And so it's a really cute movie. Um, the Santa Claus character ends up kind of befriending a mother, a single mother and her daughter, and they don't believe in fairy tales and happy endings and all that stuff. And he kind of comes and changes their life, and it ends really happily, of course. If you haven't seen that, you should definitely watch it. So, those are my favorite Christmas movies and cartoons. Let me know in the comments what your favorite movies are, maybe that I haven't seen and would like to watch. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.